So I went to the thrift store with Jess yesterday and well to a few thrift stores and I wanted to show you some of my finds that I got. So I got this really, really cozy, soft weekend wonder shirt. It was so soft and cozy. This was from a consignment store. I got it for $13.50 and it's just really, really cozy. So I love that. And then this I actually got from Goodwill. This is a Lululemon top and you guys, I got this for $3.99. <laughs> Such a good deal. It does have like a stain somewhere a little bit of a stain I don't know if you could see it but it's like barely noticeable it's not like grungy it's like almost kind of brand new so I'm really excited about that a really well made um, jacket and brand and I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of that and I such a score because these are like over a hundred dollar tops these Lululemon tops so stoked about that then i saw this this was like kind of an impulse buy it has holes in it you guys like there's a hole there there's another like huge hole um up here and this this was also from the goodwill this was 4.99 i probably shouldn't have got it but i got it anyways just because i loved like the camera on it and i just thought it was a fun like cozy soft shirt I also found this Law of Attraction book. Um, this was $1.99 and I've never read like the original one, so I got that. And then I also got this frame, which was 50 cents. And you guys, I put my embryo in there. <laughs> so we framed our embryo. It's hard to see, hold on. So we put them in this frame and we got it from the thrift store for only 50 cents. So that is my little thrift store haul for you. You guys, Lush sent me these bath bombs. They're the Rose Bombshell bath bombs. That's the original. And then they made like an extra, extra large one. And it has a real rose, like a real yellow rose um, inside of it. And oh my God, they smell heavenly. I'm so excited to use these, but I can't use them right now because I'm on suppositories. But that thing is huge. <laughs> so cool. Hi, sweetie. Hi. So uninterested. Hi. Hi, honey. He's my little construction cat. Yeah. So Trav is working on the fireplace for grouting today, so that's exciting. Hey guys, today is a very exciting day because I'm finally getting to see the Winchester movie. I've been wanting to see this movie since it came out, but the day that it came out was my transfer day and so I wasn't able to do anything so I was on bed rest that day but now we decided that we are going to come um, on Tuesday because on Tuesdays they have $5 movie days in Folsom so that's very exciting so we're going to see this movie for only $10 but for both of us together uh, and I'm really really excited to see this movie I've been wanting to see it since we visited the Winchester house we found out they were filming this movie which was like months ago it was like was it over a year ago no. Yeah, well, no, it was a year ago because we went during Valentine's Day, I remember. It was Valentine's Wait. time. Oh, to the Winchester House? So it's Winchester been like a House? year, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's been it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. So we just um, went and had some sush. Uh, we had some vegan sushi at McCoonies. It was really good. I ate way too much. But now I'm feeling super full, and we're about to go see this movie, and then I'm probably going to run into Whole Foods um, and get some food hey you guys so we saw the winchester movie i thought it was really good what did you think yeah i thought it was a good movie yeah i think it starts out a little slow at the beginning but then as the movie like starts to get going it starts to get really good towards like you know especially the middle and the end it's like it's really good i really liked it super happy i got to see it um we went into whole foods and got some yummy treats i got some new cheese that i'm gonna try some vegan cheese and crackers so i quickly just wanted to update you guys on how i'm feeling what day past transfer i'm at so for those of you guys that are new and just tuning in um i did a five day embryo transfer so that's like days past transfer do you count the day or no i'm not going to count the day so just four. i think if it was in the morning okay yeah, if it was in the like evening or late. it was in the morning okay so five days maybe then i don't know four or five days is where i'm at right now the day after my transfer i was fine the second day after my transfer i did not feel good at all like i literally was in bed all day I think that it's because I'm I'm like 
on a bunch of medicine for like a week and then they take me off of it and then I'm on a different medicine for a week and then they take me off of it and so once my body gets used to something and then it like takes it away I don't know how other way like what other way to describe it other than like it's just my body is just going crazy and I think being on the like prednisone and the antibiotics and all the hormones and then introducing more hormones and then I had taken a Valium and then and it was really strong so maybe like I was having some like side effects of like a withdrawal even though it was just one pill that I took I don't know I have no idea I could be crazy but I definitely just didn't feel good on the second day like I was really sick actually and stayed in bed all day I had really bad anxiety uh, it was just like not a good day then since then I've been getting better and able to like go out I've been a little bit dizzy very tired very hungry again I think those are all side effects of the medication I'm still on so I'm doing a suppository now of 100 milligrams of progesterone and 2 milligrams of estradiol so that's currently the hormones that I'm on and obviously all my vitamins I'm taking I'm still drinking all my pomegranate juice still eating a carton of raspberries a day um, I've actually cut out soy almost completely from my diet during this time um, I don't know if that will help or not but some people say that it's good to do that so I'm literally doing everything uh, yeah I mean that's kind of it I haven't really been super moody or anything right no you've been doing so well uh -huh. I mean, I am kind of hiding my bruises with my shirt, but she's pretty smart where she beats me. <laughs> it's actually always hidden by a shirt or shorts, pants. That's a joke, everybody. Yeah, he's joking. I don't beat my husband. Pre, uh, Post-trigger warning. Oh, you know what? Can I say something sure. totally different than this? Totally, yeah. off to like, totally off subject of that. I am curious about people who are very sensitive and triggered with a lot of things, if they're able to go to the movies, because we the we saw the Winchester movie today, mm -hmm. and the previews for movies coming up like were very True. aggressive. Yeah. I mean, like people jumping off building, like suicide, and like all kinds of crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, you, like, and you never know what previews of movies you're gonna get. You're gonna get like three. grocery shopping tonight and last or last night and today so so yeah everything's good and uh that's about it right now hey you guys we're home i wanted to show you some of the stuff that we got at um whole foods just a few things so this is really good like bacon replacement very delicious this actually has soy in it but it'll be like the one soy thing that i eat and i'll probably have like one piece in a week so um, and then this is the cheese that we're gonna try I've heard good things about it but never tried it and then we just got some crackers to go with that and that's it also this just came in my merch hat so we're that's a little sneak peek <laughs> uh, we have some merch that is coming out and I'm getting samples in to make sure that it's top quality for you guys because if it's not we don't work with those companies that is really good quality so happy about that just waiting for the rest of the items to come in and then i'll be announcing it um but yeah very exciting also another exciting thing is that fireplace is almost done it's not the cheese this is our first time trying it we're gonna try it with you guys here you go babe 
Careful so it doesn't break. Okay, ready? Cheers. I think it's really good. A little salty. I think it tastes really good. I think it tastes identical to cream and chive, like regular really? cheese stuff. Yep. Is chive stuff normally pretty salty? Mmm. That I mean, that's just what it. That's what it's supposed to taste like. Oh. It really tastes exactly like it's supposed to. Okay. Well, it tastes really good. I like it. It is a little salty for me. Maybe the Sunday sun-dried tomato one is less salty, and I'll like that one better. But I mean, I'm not complaining. It's pretty good for being vegan. And most vegan cheese to me tastes like throw up, so I'm happy with this one. Also, I don't know if I mentioned, but every single day I've been taking a nap because I've been tired. I don't want to get my hopes up and think that it's because I'm pregnant. I most likely think it's probably just the progesterone that makes me really tired. Progesterone is a hormone that acts like, um, like it gives you like every pregnancy symptom. Those are the side effects. So it's kind of like tricky and confusing and you don't know if you're like pregnant or if it's just the medication. I'm just chalking all of it up to the medication. So I just ate so much of those cheese and crackers and now I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> So that's what's going on over here. And also normally I always have a heating pad on my stomach and my back because I have back pain and, and, and endometriosis. Um, so now like I, it just helps with the pain. But I have not used heating pad since my transfer but I have put the heating pad underneath my feet to keep my feet warm because they say warm feet, warm uterus and it's just cozy and it feels good. So that's what I've been doing. I have a heating pad on my feet right now and I'm just going to take a little nap. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. It's so crazy, it literally looks like I have concealer underneath my eyes, but I don't, it's just my rosacea is like here and here and it makes it look like I had concealer. I slept for hours. <laughs> Literally, um, just woke up a little bit ago and now I'm about to go downstairs. There's like a gnat in my room and check out the fireplace because I think it is possibly done by now. Would you look at that? What a beaut! What do you think? It looks amazing, babe. Does it bring my wife joy? Yeah, wow, that looks so good. So, um, basically, it's seeing it for the first time with you guys. Wow, this looks so good. So I'm gonna get a little white, they make a, a white little plastic piece. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna get a teeny one right there. Yeah. And I'll cover that, I taped, or not taped, but I connected all three wires together. So oh, it's yeah. just a perfectly vertical strip. Yeah, it looks and good. And all I need to do is the baseboard from here to here. Right. Wow, that looks so good, babe. I'm so proud of you. I Look think it this. came out pretty, Pretty clean, huh? Yeah. Like that, I think all that, um, the metal and stuff, like edging and stuff really goes with it. And the only other thing is I'll probably take like a little bit of caulking. Mm -hmm. I know it's just probably me that I noticed it, but I'll probably just yeah. take a bit of caulking right there. Oh, I love it. Good job, babe. And the sound's not gonna cut out. I connected that other wire too. Oh, wow, looks so good, babe. Looks, I think it looks really good. Yeah, it does. And then here's our, Couch. Does it bring my wife joy? That's really the only question that I have. Does it bring you joy? It brings me a lot of, I'm just gonna use the F word, joy. <laughs> yes, it brings me a lot of joy. Yeah, Thank I'm you. really happy with it. I think it looks really good. I'm making a burrito and I just took the tortilla and I put a little bit of earth balance butter on it and then put it on a pan to like make it warm and like kind of crispy and then in here i um put on the stove a little bit of greens some mushrooms and then down at the bottom there's onions but you can't really see them and this is like a whole thing of mushrooms like a whole case of them and i'm gonna dump that on here i put some refried beans these are some organic ones oh i hear you are you hungry too do you yeah, okay, mama will feed you in a minute. So I'm just gonna dump all of this 
into the burrito and then I'm also gonna put some avocado, gonna have some salsa and it's just a really healthy uh, burrito that I thought I'd share with you guys. So I'll show, show you what it looks like when it's all done. Maybe I'll save some of this just to eat by itself like later on. Um, but now I'm gonna cut up that avocado and then add that on here, throw in some salsa and it's gonna be good to go. So this is what the burrito looks like. I'm gonna roll it up and eat that and then I have a little bit of leftovers here and then I'm gonna put the leftovers of this in a glass uh, Tupperware so that I can have another burrito later. Mm -hmm. 